the notice, but really all eyes tonight on that significant accident on the thruway that happened this afternoon right around 1.30. Reports started coming in at 2. Our Hannah Bueller out of the scene right now on the thruway, uh, exit 49 here tonight. She has someone that was rescued from that accident tonight. Yeah, Hannah. Jeff, I just caught up with uh, some folks here who had to be rescued. Katie had to be rescued by her dad. Good papa here. You came to help your daughter. Tell us a little bit about this. This is just terrible. You said you were heading to work in Lancaster? Yeah, I was doing a job right in uh, Lancaster, and next thing I know, an ambulance was right behind me, so I tried to, per you know, move over for it, and next thing I know, my van goes down to the ditch, and I'm stuck. So two and a half hours later, I came and got her. <laughs> hey, I even brought her Tim Hortons. Well, that's, <laughs> great. that's Tim Hortons great. sandwich. What has it been like being out there and seeing all of these first responders? Just to be clear, you were not involved in the initial 25 car crash, but you did see a lot of activity. Tell me what it was like out there. Scary, horrible, just watching those ambulances go by and all the firefighters and the police. It was just. I was so scared. I was praying and making sure that everyone was good. So I moved over. I just wanted to make sure that that ambulance could go through and make sure whoever was hurt could get taken care of. I didn't care what happened to me. I could walk out. But those people, I wasn't sure what was going to happen. Absolutely. So, so you moved over and then ended up sliding down the ditch. That's oh how it happened. God. Yeah. So, sir, and I was trying to get here earlier as well, and it's extremely hard to even get to this area. How were you able to make contact with your daughter? I see you brought a ladder and a bunch of other supplies just to kind of get her. Tell me about the the, uh, the process of that? Well, just to make sure that, that she could get out and she was safe. She said she was stuck. It was too cold. Everybody's busy, so she was pretty much on her own, and she was my daughter, and I worried. Yeah. So I grabbed a few survival stuff that would help and came down and trudged over through it, found her, and uh, got her warm and safe, and here we are now, two hours later, three hours later. Yeah, and I mean, thankfully you're okay tonight, but you can see the conditions. What were they like when you were actually driving and those folks were trying to get through? You couldn't see a gosh darn thing in front of you. Everything was blurry. There was a complete whiteout right now. You could even tell that it's complete whiteout. I still can't feel my fingertips just from walking, not even quarter, you know, from my vehicle. It's just cold. It's so cold. Yeah, the vehicle can be you know, picked up later. Yeah, it's yeah. that you guys are safe right now. I thank yeah, you correct. so much for your time. You're I want welcome. you to get back and warm up. Thank you so you much too. again. You, again, you just heard from two people Take who care. were thank actually you. in the situation here on the throughway, and we're going to send it back inside to the studio.